Hey everyone, here's a two-tone backset man's ring we designed for a client. On screen is the 3D print of the body of the ring. You'll notice a bar style pattern on each side of the shank and a recessed area in the center for the inserts. This ring had to be uniquely laid out in order to have the emerald cut stone backset and to have the top two designs look like one complete piece. In order to achieve this, the seat for the stone had to be printed separately, and the backset prongs needed to be attached to the white gold inserts. However, because this was to be backset, a hollow cavity needed to be carved out of each side of the shank where the stone would sit. When pieced together, the seat would be placed into the cavity first, followed by the white gold inserts, then the stone would fit snug against the seat. You'll also notice four small cutouts in the ring itself. These cutouts play two roles. They are for the backset prongs to slide through, but since they are attached to the inserts, they also allow the white gold parts to fit correctly into place without the need for a third arm while soldering. A little hard to visualize the whole ring while each part is the same color. Let's get this ring cast and I'll be back to show how it looks pieced together. And here we have the two-tone ring put together and each part has just come out of the cast. You'll notice while looking through the opening along the underside of the shank how the backset prongs align with the holes in the print. At the moment, the white gold inserts have been gently placed into position. Once the final ring is ready to be soldered, the pieces will be pushed together flush. The only thing that's missing from the video is the stone seat. Because the seat is the same size as the cavity and we are not the ones soldering the final ring, it was easier to leave it out as it kept coming loose while turning the ring around. Let's get the inserts out and take a closer look. With a gentle tap they slide right out. On their own there's not much to them, just a bar with two posts, but once everything has been high polished and soldered together this will be one stunning ring. Overall this is an interesting and fun ring to lay out. The design was based off another ring the client's customer had with a similar pattern but with a prong set center stone. Since we didn't finish the ring I don't have a video or image of the final product but our client told us their customer was thrilled with the end result. If you are looking to have something custom made feel free to contact us over at moorsjewelers.com. Send any ideas, sketches, or images that you are trying to create into a a piece of jewelry and we'd be more than happy to help. For anything else feel free to leave us a comment and thanks for watching.